What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an area reinforcement in structural wall. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to zoom in to this area here. So this is where I'm going to uh, create my structural walls area reinforcement. So I'm going to add that to this uh, wall here so to do that I'm going to click this wall and then after that we are going to open the section box of that or the selection box for that one and this is now how it looks like All right now the next thing that we're gonna do is while this wall is selected so go to the reinforcement panel and then you can see here area reinforcement so it sketches the boundary of an area to populate with rebar okay so i'm going to select area reinforcement okay and then after that i'm just going to make sure that the chain here is checked and i'll be using the rebar line here to create the boundary using line tool okay so let's do this so we just need to trace the boundary of our wall here so i'm gonna start clicking this line here so let's pick that and then after that so let's click another point here there you go so let's trace it and let's trace here and then after that close it okay and then select modify and by the way these two adjacent uh, lines that you are seeing here this line and then this line that is your major direction so if you want to change your major direction you can um, select the major direction tool here so it defines the major direction of reinforcement so a parallel line symbol indicates the span direction edge for the alignment of reinforcement so let's say I'm going to select the major direction. I want to change that. So instead of uh, horizontal, so I'm just going to make that uh, vertical. So I'm going to click this. And there you go. And then after that, so once you finish sketching, so just check finish edit mode. And that's it. And then you will now see here the representation of your area reinforcement, that X. So if you click outside, it will uh, disappear. But if you're gonna click your wall here so that is your re uh, reinforcement now let's create a section okay so let's go to the floor plan again and then let's look at this to this uh, section view so I'm going to create a section let me just pick the first point here up to here all right and then let's open up the section so it's uh double click the section head and then let's crop our view let's click the boundary and then we only want to see this wall here this is our concern that wall only okay and then you you already noticed that there is already the reinforcement and then um let us change also the scale so instead of this is scale so let's change that to one fourth inch to one foot there you go so there's now the scale and let us play the values or the properties of our area reinforcement okay so let's uh where's my properties okay so there's my properties let me just dock it properly there you go okay so to modify the properties of your uh, reinforcement here so you can click your structural area reinforcement and then from the properties you can now modify it so let's say for example what i'm going to do is let's try to uncheck the exterior major direction on our layers uh, parameter so let's uncheck that and then let's see what will happen and also the exterior minor okay and then let's apply 
and there you go so it disappears so basically that's how you turn off the visibility and then apply again then you can turn on the major direction apply there you go and then let's try out the interior major direction so let's apply let's uncheck that and then apply and then let's see what happens so same with the major direction exterior major direction so uncheck and then apply and see that's how it happens when you toggle it on and off now let's try to further modify this one so let's select again our uh, area reinforcement and then after that let's check our major direction the exterior major direction and then the interior major direction so this time uh, what we are gonna do is just like the rebar that we have made uh, on our earlier videos so we are gonna change the layout rule here so instead of maximum spacing so I'm gonna change that to fixed number and then after that I'm gonna change the major number of lines for exterior major so exterior major number of lines so let's say i'm gonna make that uh, 50. okay so same with exterior minor number of lines i'm gonna make that 50 and also for my interior major number of lines i'm gonna make that 50 and last is interior minor number of lines make it 50. So we are just uh, playing with the value of our area reinforcement. And also, let's say I'm going to change the type. So interior minor bar. So let's say I'm going to use uh, number 6. Okay, so let's use number 6. Number 6. And number 6. And then apply. There you go okay so basically that's how you modify your area reinforcement again let's try to show this in the 3d view so this is the 3d view so let's go back to our uh, section view let's try out if we can apply the same way that we did from our last video so we are gonna select this area here and we're gonna filter that and then i'm gonna select here check none i just want to select the rebar and then okay so maybe let's select also the area reinforcement and then OK. And then after that, let's modify the view visibility states. So select edit and then from the 3D view. So just check the view unobscured and view as solid. Just check that and then select OK. OK, and then after that, let's check the 3D view. So here in the 3D view, it doesn't show. It's not like the rebar that we have created last time. So here it's not showing uh, properly. So maybe uh, what we can do is we can change the visual style again to wireframe. But again, it's not showing here. Hmm, there must be something wrong here. Okay, so let me just play around. So let's filter that area reinforcement so it's already view here mm. okay the next thing that i'm gonna do is let me check the visibility graphic overrides let's check our uh, structural elements here maybe it's turned off okay so the structural rebar here is turned off so let's check that one let's expand this okay so make sure the structural rebar is checked and then select okay and there you go that's what we need to see so let's change that again to shaded view and see now your area reinforcement rebars okay so that's how you check so if ever it's not visible although you already set it up so you can check the visibility graphic overrides and then just check your model categories. Maybe your structural rebar there is unchecked, just like our case just now. 
All right. So there you go. So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.